Okay, I'm assuming now you've got the roots down. You know that chord motion. It's from B to D to G to B flat. Well, let's talk a little bit about the chord qualities. This song is made up of major, minor, and dominant seventh chords. So that first chord, B, is a major chord. If we played the arpeggio, it'd look like this. Major seven. Major seven, dominant seven, is the second chord. It would be here. So it's major, dominant, major, dominant, major. Two, five, one, minor. Notice all the two five ones are always minor seven, dominant seven, major seven. So let's review that a little bit again. Your first chord, B, that's a major chord. D is a dominant chord. The G, major chord, the B flat seven, dominant, the E flat, major chord. Two five one. Major, dominant, major, dominant. Now we're into a series of two five ones. Top. Now that's a lot of material I just gave you, so you have to work with that a bunch, okay? And I, I, I can't stress enough or repeat again that you know sometimes people just go, "Oh man, I can't do this." I actually heard a really good player one time. Um, say, man, I just have such a hard time remembering all those chords, and is it major, and is it minor, is it dominant? I just, you know, I mean, I, I, I can play, but I really can't play jazz because, and the truth is, he just gave up. Um, you don't have to be an encyclopedia and a theoretician, but you sure have to know major, minor, dominant, and you have to learn where the chords are in the song. And it just takes repetition to do that repetition a lot, okay? Now, I'm going to assume that you've uh, known that, and that's a big assumption. That might take you a few hours or a few days or a few weeks, but I'm going to start to show you now what I want you to do, uh, you know, sort of solo-wise, if you will, to uh, start getting moving around the fingerboard. Watch this. What did I do? I played the little, di di I call them digital numbers. One, two, three of a scale of each one of the chords. All of those chords are either major or dominant, so scale to be one, two, three of a major scale. If I went all the way up through the whole scale, of course, some of the sevens would be different, wouldn't they, from major to minor or dominant? And the thirds would do. But these were all major or dominant chords. One more time. Three and four. Here's that two, five, one. Minor, one, two, three. did it for every chord. I played that little scale degree. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now that's going to be a lot of practice. I think I'll, I think right here I'll go to a little video that uh, uh, has that audio you can hear it and you'll see me playing along with it, okay? 
So that's just a matter of practice. And I can assure you, I have students who are quite advanced uh, players that we come to this type of thing. And it's sort of a tongue mental twister for a while. It, it's going to take some hours, some time. But it's not infinite. It's not like you can't. You can do it. And when you get this happening, you'll start to recognize things in the fingerboard you've never seen. Okay, let's go to that little video now demonstrating one, two, three.